Hey everybody, welcome back to Plum Figgy. This is Tammy. Okay, so continuing to work on our spine of our uh, Vintage Birds journal. Um, so at this point, I'm ready to actually, I think, continue working on the covers <laughs> instead of the spine. So um, I went and grabbed, I have uh, some of this Tim Holtz uh, Craft Core uh, paper. And it's got a texture to it, and so basically what it is, it's craft paper um, that you're supposed to be able to sand. I'm going to take out two sheets because I have a feeling I'll need both. But um, you're supposed to be able to sand um, away the color, and instead of it showing up white like most um, scrapbook paper would, because it's got the craft color core, that's very green. <laughs> um, it'll show up as craft paper. So my struggle with this is it's very green. <laughs> um, and I like the green. Um, but actually, I don't know. I think it'll be okay because I think I want to add pockets on the inside and front and back covers anyway. Um, so... You may not see much of the green. Oh, you know what we should do? I wonder if I have envelopes that would be the right size. Let me just take a look. Grab my envelopes. Sorry, I'm stepping away from my desk for a minute. <laughs> okay. So, let's see. Move this out of the way. So, for envelopes... Got these seed type envelopes, but well, maybe they would look okay. They would be the perfect height. Hmm. I'm gonna grab one of these. I'm gonna pull one of these out that's not been folded yet. But what I had in my mind was I have some of these. These are glassine envelopes, but I don't think I have any tea dyed ones. Um, these are really cool. Sorry, it's so close you can't even see what they are. Um, these are really cool, but they are, I think, way too tall. So, here is how the seed packet envelope looks. Oh, this one doesn't have a window on the front. Well, we definitely want one with a window. Okay, so might do cardstock on one side and this is something I got in the mail I think I ordered something and it came in this little envelope and I thought it was so cool but I need to copy dye it first okay what else do I got in here I've got this no, that's got cactuses stamped on it um, I need a small envelope. I don't know that I have any in here anyway. Uh, I know I've got some. I might just have to go looking somewhere else. But anyway, my thought was we could do an envelope on the front and back inside front covers. Um, so, oh, I was going to check. So here's our gray envelope. Yeah, this is like not, I mean, I could cut it down, I suppose and do it that way. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Hmm. If I cut this in half, and then I could do a double layer maybe of envelope. Well, I don't think I've ever done that one. Well, I can tell you, I've never done that before. <laughs> um, boy, this green, I just don't know. The green is very green. <laughs> It's very, very green. Okay, well, um, I guess I need to make a decision. Okay, and then the other thing I wanted to try, I, I like the covers, but I want to um, sand down the edges so that they have a nice edge. And then I'm going to take my gold... So my 
not silver, my gold gilding wax, I think. I think gold. Um, that's paint. That's paint. That is wax. That's rose gold. Let's see what color this is. Nope. <laughs> that's basically purple. It's really pretty, but not right for this journal. And then this one is also brushed iron. So that's going to be like a... I haven't even used this yet. This will be, yeah, gray. So, ooh, this stuff is stinky. <laughs> um, okay, so that's that. I do have this, which could be kind of cool. Okay, so this one is, these are both paints. So I could either do the wax or actually I like this color a lot too, which that color is steampunk copper. This one is called ancient coin. So let me open this up just to see. Oh, I have to remember this is paint. Don't spill it. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. Okay. Let me put these back. Um, or the other option is this gold. Actually, I think this gold is going to look better in the long run. So I'm going to go for that. Um, I'm going to get my fingers dirty today. <laughs> Such is life when you're doing this kind of stuff. That's why it's so fun. Okay, so what's going on here? These don't want to go back in the way that they were. Um, or I could do this one, which I'm pretty sure is probably about the same color as the wax. But let's just double check. Yeah, no, I definitely like the wax better. So, if I can get the lid back on. Okay, so... Well, hmm. Put that off to the side. Okay, so I have some. This is just from the dollar store, Dollar Tree. I don't know if it's going to be any good, but um, I picked some up. Uh, so let me see. I think this one's probably the coarseness that I need. Yep, that's like way too coarse. Okay, so. Here, so I know what it is. All right, all right. I'm gonna get myself ready. I'm obviously kind of like ah all over the place. So <laughs> I'm gonna center myself, <laughs> and I'll come back. Okay. So I went looking in my other smaller um, envelope stash. And I've got a lot of really good candidates, but I pulled this one out because I just love these kinds of envelopes. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, if we use this one, I'll have to fix that. Um, but I thought this would be a really, this could be a really good one because you could just turn it into a tuck spot here. So you could put something behind and then also something inside. Um, and it would very obviously work on the inside cover here. Um, so I really like that idea. I'll be honest, this one, not my favorite for the cover necessarily. I mean, I can put one in the journal. Actually, that's. I'll just go ahead and put one in the journal. Um, and then, you know, she can do what she wants to with that. So I'll fix that and we'll put that one in one cover. And then I do like the idea I had of um, turning this into two pockets, potentially. So since I've got it all lined up, why don't I go ahead and mark and just let's do it and try it out and see what happens. Um, 
And if worse comes to worse, I just have a shorter envelope. <laughs> did this, my thought was to do something kind of like this where you would basically have this envelope and then this envelope, but then you don't really need, you don't really need the back part of this, I mean, What do I feel about this? I don't know. I just don't know. So, okay. Well, we'll, we'll keep that idea. Um, not 100% sold. The other thing is I found these that I forgot that I even had. Um, but let me pull these out. I don't remember where I got these. Uh, well, no matter where I got them from, I don't think you're going to be able to get them anymore. Even if... If I told you, I want to say Joanne's probably in their dollar spot area. Um, so, yeah, I was thinking these could be kind of cute. Um, the problem is this part. I don't know that I would... I don't know that I would keep the string in there. I mean, it's fine. It's just going to bulk things up. Um, if I put it on, I mean, obviously I would cover this with something interesting, maybe like a label or something. Um, it's awfully cute. I could also sew it to be a little shorter. Yeah, I kind of just wish it was a little shorter for this journal. So, <laughs> okay, well, I'll kind of think on those, um, so it'll either be this, I'll put this one in the front and then I'm either going to do at least one of these, possibly two layers of this in the back or this in some way, shape or form. <laughs> not sure how, not sure how it's going to work. Actually, it would be really cute if I just ripped this to be this short that would actually be really cute or actually because there's a stitching line right here let's see how tall would that be that could work because there's a stitched line right here it's just a basting stitch but I could trim this okay let's just do it <laughs> let's just go for it I'm going to trim it right here, just above that, and see how this rips. Ooh! Okay, well, <laughs> not really the way I thought it would, but um, also not bad either. I may need to just do another, yeah, see, it's going to come apart here. So, okay, I'm going to um, do another basting stitch around the top, and I guess I have black thread in my sewing machine, um, and kind of fix what I broke here, but I think that is super cute, a little pocket then, um, so we'll go ahead and do that one. So I might figure out something to do with this on the inside of the journal. So I'll put that there. And then this, where did my other one go? I had it. Okay. Put those two on my stacks of signatures. And then this, I don't think I'll throw this away because I can use this um, fabric. It just needs to be ripped apart. So for like tabs and stuff. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of nice muslin fabric. So, okay, cool. Um, all right. So now back to task at hand. <laughs> this I will come back to. Uh, okay. So I've got to cover the front and back insides. So I think I'm going to go for this green. Um, I'm just going to double check what we've got. Oh yeah. Actually that'll look really nice that's the back page and then the front page is this 
Um, so yeah, the green is actually going to work pretty well, I think. And I think I'll go ahead and distress it a bit too with my sandpaper so it's not quite as pristine. Um, not just around the edges, but just on the surface as well. So, okay, I need to measure. Actually, let's just do it the easy way. And hopefully it will fit. <laughs> I'm just going to glue this right down right away so I don't forget which direction I had my cover going and which cover it was <laughs> since I know that the covers are just a little bit wonky with their sizing anyway so <laughs> just make sure and do that okay so this was like that and this was like this I think think yep and then the edges I'll be fixing because I will be sandpapering it down so okay gluing this down okay smooth all that down yep that'll be a nice cover that'll look nice this green is pretty, but it definitely, you shouldn't have a lot of it all at one time. It's a little overwhelming for me. <laughs> okay, so here's this. Let's see if this will be big enough. Ooh, just barely, I think. Okay. Oh, no, I can't because look at that. Nope. Okay, so I'm glad I pulled out two pieces. That's fine. I'll use this um, in another way in the journal. So. needs to dry. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself right now um, <laughs> because as I'm editing videos, I'm like, you know, you could really play a drinking game based on how many times I say, okay, or so. <laughs> it's literally, I say it all the time. <laughs> so if you guys have also noticed that, I am so sorry. <laughs> I try not to do it, but it's just, you know, we all have our little things, and I guess that's one of mine. <laughs> um, okay. Yep. So, there you go. <laughs> Two of them. <laughs> so, uh, here we... <laughs> Seriously. All right. Um, I'm going to... Or, um... Uh, I'm going to uh, get my stuff ready, and I don't want to... Um, sand right on top of my surface here because it's just going to make a horrible mess. So, um, I think I will do that on what? What will I do that on? Let's see. I've got a mailing thing. Packaging. Yeah. So, I'm just going to use that. That'll be a nice little surface and I can get rid of it later if I need to, but all right, get my sanding paper prepped here. I wish I had a sanding block. Um, I thought I had one, but it must be in my garage and not up here. So, okay. This is pretty simple stuff. I'm not going to go super crazy with it. Mostly what I want to do is make sure and get my edges level. I don't know how well you can see that, but there's 
definitely a lip from the second piece of cardboard that we added. And then I'm sure that there's going to, yeah. So like you can see the paper on this side <laughs> is just a little bit taller. And then this didn't get super cut straight there. So I'm just going to kind of smooth out all those edges and then I'll go back over it once it's all cleaned up and everything from the dust um, with this uh, wax, gold, gold wax. Here I have the covers um, sitting and drying. I'm going to let them sit for a bit. Um, in the meantime, I went ahead and uh, I just very carefully sewed around the top of this. Um, this is going to be hidden in the back. And then these two sides were still trying to unravel. So I just went ahead and did a quick straight stitch around the border of it too. I think it's actually really cute. Um, and then I don't know why. Let's see. Let me get this. I washed my hands already, but when I started, um, uh, what's that called? Sandpapering, sanding this side. I don't know. I guess that must be my glue. <laughs> And it must have been raised up or something. I don't know why it did that. But for whatever reason, it did that. And so um, I'm going to have to go ahead and cover, I think, this one. Well, let's just see. Maybe we can cover most of it with this still. Um, yeah, I didn't... I don't know why it did that. Um... Well, to be honest with you, I kind of like the idea of having a wider pocket anyway. So I think I'm going to go ahead and um, use this on the back inside cover. And then um, I still want to use this, this birdie on the, maybe on the front inside cover, which means then I'm going to have to... Uh, well, I don't have to, but I don't like the idea of necessarily... Well, I guess they could be looking at each other, but this is my first page of my first signature. 
And so the birds would be looking at each other, which I don't know, maybe that's not so bad. Um, but you know, I could very easily just do this one as my first, as the first page. So you still got two birds there. Um, I don't know. I'll think about it. But anyway, um, going to have to make a little change on that. So let's see. Oh, and I still need to fix this. So I will put this somewhere else in the journal then too. Um, I guess somehow, somewhere, <laughs> uh, I wonder if I could fit both of these on the same cover. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll think th we'll think through that. Maybe this over there and this kind of like that. I don't know. That won't work very well. Um. But anyway, we got lots and lots of pocket happening, uh, and then this I'll put somewhere into the journal. Uh. So, yeah. So I need to figure out something to put into each of these and I need to cover that with something. So let's see what we can find. Boy, this one's kind of turning into a free-for-all, isn't it? <laughs> you just don't know what's going to happen next. <laughs> you think you were going to work on the spine, but actually <laughs> it's everything but the spine. <laughs> okay. So just going back into my little goodie bag of tricks over here. Oh, and we do need to do this too. Okay. Well, we're not going to work on the spine today. <laughs> so I guess that's what it is. Um, let's see. Got this would be a nice, or this actually would be nice too. That was a practice stamp that. I did last time and I stamped it in gold first and I didn't, you couldn't see it. So then I stamped over that with the brown, but it, I think really looks kind of nice. So, um, so yeah, so there's that. All right. All right. So let's focus. Okay. So I need to back this still with something. Um, and we've got Western birds. I thought, Oh, I was going to put this on the inside cover or something somewhere. Um, you know, I almost hate to cover up the birds on the cover with this. I don't know how I can make it work because this is awfully big and there's really not a lot of room. Hmm. What if we did... We're getting real creative now, guys. What if we did this? It's not going to fit. Or that's not going to fit either. How wide is this? Less strong. Mm -mm. This would fit like this, though. Hmm. Okay, well, we've got some ideas. There's a little spine action happening here. <laughs> oh, and there's still this. Okay. So, let's see. Back to what I was doing. Okay, so we need to back this with some cardstock so that we can put it into the journal, which I think I'm going to um, use that green um, cardstock by Tim Holtz again. And then... Uh, journaling cards for each of these. So, let's see. That's not very big. I don't know that I even have very much cardstock out. That's a pretty good tuck spot there. Okay. Well, 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 I do have this brown and this brown. Could be really interesting on the back one. And 
And then for this, I said some kind of a label or something would be nice. So, okay. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Can you tell? I'm just like, wow. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Um, so, how big is this? Well, how cute would it be if I did an eyelet through the front of this and then just hung a little tag off of it? You'd still be able to see the for you though. Um, I'm not sure I'm into that. Okay. So back to the drawing board. Let me pull some of this out just because. And maybe some of that. And I really like this paper. this one. I have just a little bit left of that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm down to the nitty gritty now. I just don't have lots to work with anymore here. So, um, just kind of hold me back. Hold me back. Okay. I don't want to lose these. Here is my cardstock. So I tried um, sanding and then um, distressing, and I really didn't like how that looked <laughs> at all. <laughs> So I won't do that, um, but let's go ahead and I'm going to make, uh, I guess it could be a little bit taller than this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make a, a journaling card to fit into this one. and decorate it in some way. I'm gonna cover this with something. Um, why did it like that? <laughs> Let's make it as hard as possible. <laughs> to decorate this how ooh, those colors are very interesting together I happen to really enjoy that color combination <laughs> it's really kind of cool and I'm going to ink this one just a bit Well, today's weather has been extremely interesting. It started being real gray and cloudy. Kind of not cold, but a little chilly in the 60s. And then it rained. And so then it's been a little bit, you know, dark and gloomy. And um, I like that glue that down and 
just kind of cloudy all day, but then I feel like the temperature has risen uh, as the day's gone by, or maybe that's just my perspective, my perspective because I went upstairs and it's, it's warmer up here than it is downstairs. <laughs> so now it feels like it's in the upper sixties at least and just really nice out. No breeze. It's just perfect. I really should be outside doing something, but alas, I am in here doing what I love. <laughs> okay, so writing space. Let's go ahead and add some I don't really want to cover too much of this. Hmm. And I don't like that it's just three pieces of paper like that either. It's kind of funny looking. And then just that, maybe. Well, I'll put that down and then I may add something more to it. It might need like a flower or something. And you know, there's plenty of room on the back side to write, so this front side doesn't need to be writable surface. got such a mess. Okay. Let's find something to put on the front of this. It's cute, but not quite right. It's just not very pretty. <laughs> Cricket. <laughs> I feel like I'm gravitating towards yellow flowers in this journal for some reason. I hope she likes yellow. <laughs> I'll do a turkey vulture. <laughs> or not. you an interesting little birdie. I like you. Although something tells me you're not in the right region of the United States. So 
Same with you, although you are very interesting. <laughs> got a woodpecker. I think we've got some woodpeckers already. It's kind of at a funny angle. He's kind of an interesting one, too. Well, I really can't decide. I've got some really good choices here. Oh, I have to remember I've got another one to decorate, so, um, okay. Or this guy. He might be kind of good. He might be perfect, actually. Put him up there. Where would you put him? My problem is I don't want to cover all that. Him too. Okay. And of course, I need to distress around the edges. Um, and I think also add some kind of a tab of some kind. Um, we've got a bit of this. I got glue in my hand and everything is sticking to it. <laughs> Can't throw anything away. <laughs> okay. This is too long. <laughs> well, let's just do it this way then. <laughs> Okay, Babber Tech. Oops, so sorry. I think you guys are crooked too. Let me fix that. Um, I will take this to my sewing machine and do a zigzag stitch, but, oh, you know what, I should have, <laughs> I should have inked around the edges before I glued that down. 
Oops. Well, let's just do that now. Okay. So, let's just make sure that this fits inside. Because how mad would I be if it was too wide? It's actually a little bit wider than it should be. <laughs> Ooh, it's going to be a snug little fit. That'll be cute, though. Okay, because we'll have this glued down, and so you'll be able to see that much of it sticking out. All right, now for covering this stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and do a little collage right here. And see what we can come up with. I did say a label though, didn't I? Well, let me go see what I can find for labels. These still from that cut apart sheet by Tracy Fox. Field notes actually wouldn't be a bad one. Let me cut this one out and see. Yeah, it's just a little bit too. T it's just a little bit too wide. So, um, let me cut this one out. That's cool. Okay, let's do that. But of course I need to put some of this behind it because that'll make it better. And I'm going to get rid of some of the... edge here. This is too small. I need another piece. Something more like that. Yep. Okay. Quit fiddling with it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to glue that down, and I'm going to call that one done. Have that little pocket. Really, really cute. I may need to shave off a little bit of width on this card. I wish it wasn't so difficult to get inside. Why is this being difficult now?
Whoops. <laughs> okay. So there is. <laughs> Take a drink. Um, there, <laughs> there is that pocket. We will glue that in. I think I'm going to have to do another video to finish the rest of the cover part. But I do want to at least... Well, I think... Actually, yeah. I think I'm going to have to... I want to try and um, do this one yet now. And... I don't want to go crazy with decorations on the front of this, if any, actually. Um, but let's go ahead and use this for another journaling card. The back side. Um, because these covers. I, I just want to let them sit and dry for a little bit longer. Um, probably actually overnight. Uh, just because that gilding wax just gets everywhere until it's dry. So I'd rather not have a big old goldy mess in my craft room. <laughs> if I can help it. Oh boy. That did not cut very well. Okay. That was weird. I'm going to do that one more time because I don't think that was straight at all. <clears throat> okay. Got bunches of little pieces here. perfect. Let's see how that fits that way. I think I like it better that way. It'll be easier to go in and out of the pocket. Um, okay, so for this, this is kind of staring me in the face here. So I think field notes maybe. Um, and or let's see. Western birds. Okay, before I do too much here, I feel like I need to kind of take some stock on what I got going on here for this now. So this one obviously would be perfect, but it's going to cover like at least two birds, no matter where we put it on the front of the cover. And I'm not super excited about that thought. So if we did it on the inside front cover and we had this glued down there, I don't really like the idea of doing it like that. And I don't really have room for it above or below. So the other thought then would be what we have on our first signature, which I'm going to pull this one out. This is the third signature but it's got plenty of room I could just do something like that but I also don't like covering all of that either um,
actually I kind of been liking that I think um, and just lay this out here so if we did that we'd have that like that Yeah. The problem with this is it makes it look like an autumn journal and I'm it's not an autumn journal. Okay, so Gosh, this journal is cool. <laughs> I just really like it. Okay, Rufus Hummingbird. I'm kind of just like looking for maybe a different page to go as the front. Well, I think I'm going to figure this out on my own and I'll I'll end up just putting this on the cover of the first signature, whatever that one ends up being. Um, I think maybe actually just this and I'll move this page somewhere inside. do this and I don't even need actually I could even just make this into um, a journaling card and not even glue it down and do some actually I kind of really like that down there and then put that up there and do that Okay, let's do that. And then let's just paper clip you up high. Oops. Like so. So, yeah, I think that'll work well. Okay, we've got our problem solved. There we go. Okay, guys, um, so, oh, I need to finish. <laughs> I'm not done yet. What am I thinking? Okay, put this back the way it was very carefully. And I am still thinking about putting this on the spine, actually. I think that would be kind of cool um, to do. Um, but I think I will ink around it, of course, and probably do something more with it than just putting it on the spine. So, all right. So, okay. Field notes. I'll be honest, that's not my favorite right now. Um, oh. I was going to do 
something with this. Grips. Um, thinking like maybe that goes up there, and that goes like that, and Like that. Actually, I kind of like that. Okay, I'm going to ink around that and then figure out what to do on the card. Okay. So there's that. Now, let's focus on this journaling card. So, what do we got? What do we got to work with now? All right. So, really liking that. Oh, I still have some uh, graph paper. What's this? Still got some of that. Um, much writing. Why am I saving this little piece of paper? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Let us figure out something to do with what we've got. Oh, and then let me just pull out a bird. I'm going to just pick a bird. And we're going to use it. <laughs> so actually, I had him pulled out earlier. I like him. I can easily hide the thing on his chest, hopefully. With what? With what? How? How will we do that? As the birds are singing in the background. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Okay. Um. I've got a couple of these pieces of paper. What if we did? Hmm. I need a label of some sort. My labels are here. How about that? So 
So if we add some washi, I'm thinking like in there somewhere. But let me just put some down just to see first how it might look. Oh, it's fabulous. Oh yes, we need that for sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. Add a little bit of glue. So I've got a funny little gap that I now need to fill with something. Right, right there. So I'm gonna try and just see what this might look like. Okay, so I'll put it down like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that into our little pocket. Oh, you can see the bird. Oh, it's like I planned it. <laughs> Do you see? <laughs> okay, so I don't know, or should I? Should I add a tab? To yeah, I'll go ahead and add a top to the tab. Um, a tab to the top <laughs> is what I meant to say. Um, I'd like to use some of this. How wide do we want it? Let's go. Oof. That way we've got a little bit of script on both sides. So we can do... Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and sew around the edge of this one as well as our first one. And actually, um, I do think I'll probably end up taking a little bit of the width off of this first one so it goes in and out of the pocket a little easier. <laughs> I just love it when things like that happen. That's just too cool. Okay, and then next time we're going to... Um, get these glued in. 
Um, in the meantime, I will have sewn my signatures into um, my spine piece. Um, I've done that on camera several times now. Uh, so if you want to find something like that, um, it would be in my tutorials uh, playlist. Um, but then after that, um, so I'll have that ready for next time. And then next time we're going to be constructing the book. We're actually going to be putting it together and um, putting the spine onto the covers and all that good stuff. So hopefully... Um, you can wait a few days to see that, <laughs> uh, but yeah, or another day anyway. So, um, yeah, hope you all are enjoying this. I know that you are, um, and I'm kind of looking forward to starting the next project. So, uh, I'm, I'm already kind of thinking ahead on what I want to do, um, and work on with you guys. Um, so yeah. So anyway, uh, I will see you all very soon. Bye.